Hey fans, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been having a great day so far. Thank you for tuning in. Today's video is the last part of my three-part series on a three-course Valentine's Day meal. And today I'll be making a chocolate trifle. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure that you do. I'm trying my hardest to release at least one video a month, if not a lot more. And I'm hoping to get more recipes and more home DIY to you shortly. If you haven't followed any of my social media accounts, make sure that you do. I do post on there regularly a lot more so you can uh, stay tuned and see what I've been up to. And I guess let's get started. So a trifle traditionally has um, custard and jams in it, but I'm not making mine the traditional way. I have just made a variation of it which I think will just be as good. It's pretty much the same base as it's just a bunch of layers. So cake, custard, um, whatever you want in the middle, chocolate, I'm putting chocolate crumbs today. And then you can just keep layering it on. And then the top layer would be whipped cream and chocolate. Um, the ingredients, again, you can find them in any grocery store. They're super simple. I've just got um, two bite brownies here that are cut into four pieces. I've got some, um, chocolate pudding jello that I got from the grocery store as well. Um, some of this golden kind of pound cake that I've cut into little pieces. Um, some chocolate crumbs. I just bought them in a package and I just put them in a bowl because I didn't want to use, or I didn't want to get the whole package. And then some chocolate shavings that I just cut up myself. And then last is the whipped cream. So I made this whipped cream from scratch, which is just literally whipping cream with my hand mixer and some powdered sugar. You can take the easy way out and just do a tub of Cool Whip and <laughs> leave it at that. Cool Whip can be found at any frozen section, but I really love fresh whipped cream, so that's what I did. But again, Cool Whip is just as fun. It's just a little sweeter, so you might want to omit something or switch something out for like maybe sugarless jello or sugarless chocolate pudding, but Again, really up to you. Okay, so let's start assembling this together. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a layer of pound cake. I'm gonna put it in there and line it along the bottom. Oh, and make sure when you're making the scissor that you give it a lot of time to chill so that all of the flavored goodness can be soaked. Okay, once you've covered the bottom really well, I'm going to put some jello in there. Or not jello, I don't know. It's chocolate pudding, but I keep calling it jello. Just wanna spread that all over. You could also make the pudding from scratch if you'd like. There's also like pudding mixes. But I thought this would just be a lot easier to do. Okay, once you've done that, I'm gonna put some chocolate crumbs. You could just take like the Oreo cookies without the icing if you'd want and just um, put in a food processor. I've done that in the past, but I'm trying to take the easy way out on this. And then now we're gonna put a layer of whipped cream and then brown hands. I love this, look how whipped cream and then now I'm going to put some brownies and then my last layer of pudding last layer of whipped cream on the top okay and now add some chocolate shavings okay so we are all done make sure you leave this in the fridge to chill for a little bit before you serve it I would say start this before you do dinner and yeah, that's about it. Look at those layers. Again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun creating these videos as a three-part series. I hope you guys enjoyed it too and try some recipes that I put out. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure that you do. I'm trying to post a lot more, so I'll have a lot of more content for you guys. Follow any of my other social media accounts. I post on there regularly. I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day and have a belly full of food. Thanks for watching. Bye.